Hi everyone! In this video I want to reconstruct the 24 FNC world record average that I got at the Great British Blind Off. Other good competitors were Harry Savage, who also got the world record for single solve, um, Fabio Schwant and Robert Yao. You can find all scrambles and written reconstructions uh, in the description. So for the first one, uh, I did everything on the inverse scramble. So um, first of all I did B, so to match these two pairs. Then there's quite a lot of stuff I could do. I could do a square, but I didn't. I um, ended up building a straightforward 2 by 2 by 2 block like this. F, L, R prime, F, U. And then another square with B prime, D2. And now, I think I got stuck here for a while, but in the end it was an easy, rather easy, um, Three edges and four corners, skeleton like this. R B prime, R prime, B prime. So you see, three edges and four corners. And here, I only had like uh, twenty minutes left, so I was almost panicking. I tried looking for insertions, like a sexy move for edges. Couldn't find anything. I decided to insert uh, a three cycle for edges. Um, a one move from the end, so just here. Uh, the previous most move was R. So starting with R, like this, I can solve edges and cancel three with a 10 mover. So it's seven move for edges, 19 move for four corners, and I inserted them in 11 moves, I think. Uh, fairly sure this is not optimal for this skeleton. Uh, but I'm still quite happy that I didn't screw up the solve with not so much time left. So this ended up being the worst solve of my average, it's 30, um, but I'm still okay with that. I have completely missed a uh, 10 move f 2 minus one on inverse, uh, which Ari and Fabio used to get their sub 30 solves. Um, but apart from that, I'm, I'm okay with this. So for the second attempt, I did everything on normal scramble this time. Uh, there's an easy three move edge orientation. It's like U prime, D prime, F. But there wasn't so much after this. So what I did instead was F prime first. So you build two pairs immediately. And then you see how affected edges. Uh, were two bad edges on uh, FR, FL. With F prime, they became good edges on UR, um, UF, DF. And vice versa, the good edges on UFDF became bad edges on FR, FL. So I'm kind of exactly in the same situation as before for edge orientation. So I can do U prime, D prime, F prime, and now we have EO and the square and the pair down here, which is great. And then it's a kind of straightforward B2, R2. So I can build the, this 2 by 2 by 2 block and another pair. And this pair here magically matches with this edge and then I can do L2D and I have a 3 by 2 by 1 and this is just uh, 9 moves I think and then um, LD prime L2 and I have I think 3 edges and 5 corners left and now uh, it took me I don't know 5 to 10 minutes to figure this out uh, it's not immediate uh, how to get three corners from here, but it U2, R2 to match this pair, and then it was U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U2. So this is three corners in 19. Uh, I inserted them in five moves, slightly better than average, I think, so 24. And this was the best solution for this scramble of the competition. And I think, without any doubt, this is this is the solve that won me around because it's the one where I did much better than anyone else. The last solve, uh, it deserves some more wine uh, because it's a sub 20. So I started a normal, a normal scramble and as almost everyone, I found this four move edge orientation that also built uh, four pairs. It goes like R, and there's one pair, you correct four bad edges, and then it becomes um, L prime, L prime, D prime, L prime, no, sorry, L. You have a pair, pair. 
and then I switch to the inverse scramble. So this is the inverse scramble with pre-moves, as I said before. Uh, this is where it gets funny, because what I wanted to do was just to build this square with R2, you see, nice square, and then F prime, and you get another square, and then I was like, oh, nice, two squares. Oh wait, this is a, what you call it, domino reduction, cool. So I decided to try and go for it, go with a domino reduction solve. Uh, as as far as I know, there's no like clear, consistent method to get good move counts with a domino reduction solve. So what I tried to do was to get a skeleton, but possibly left three or four or five at the most edges. Um, yeah, but I, I couldn't find anything from this position. But so the last move was um, F. So if instead of F I did F prime, I still have domino reduction, right? And I can go with the same techniques. And this is how I found my first solution. So I kind of want to match this pair with its edge. Um, yeah, but first I want to put, I don't know, for no specific reason, I put down this corner here, uh, also to save this pair. Yeah, this was the reason maybe. So I did L2. And then what I did was U, F2, um, U prime, D prime. Now I will talk about that. And then L2. Uh, so I built this square, as I said. Uh, why did I do U prime, D prime instead of U2? Uh, it's just to influence the E layer in a different way, you know. Uh, you kind of want to solve the U phase, D phase, but also the E layer. And you can do U2, but you can do U prime, D prime and affect it in a different way. And now it's rather easy to see the solution, actually, because it um, UD2, F2, and I match this corner here, but now it's obvious, D, R2, U2, D prime. Uh, actually, a 19 move solution, which I later improved to 18, uh, as I show you now. So the 18 move solution is basically the same. Uh, I start with sin domain reduction with F instead of F prime, so I don't match the square. Um, I still do L2 at the beginning, and then I change it a bit, I do D instead of U, and then do R2, and then U2, R2 again, so you build this square. And then we're in the same situation, and I can do D, U2, R2, and then D, B2, U prime, D2. And this turns out to be one move less, because I did, at some point, I did something like U2 instead of UD or something. So when I found this 18, I still had like 14 minutes left. So I tried to improve it even farther, uh, but still going with the same uh, with the same solve. So like uh, F instead of F prime. So I don't build the square at the beginning and trying to improve it, as I said, like doing more U2 stuff instead of UD and possibly leaving some E, e layer edges to be inserted. I couldn't find anything, so in the end, I handed in the solution at 47 minutes or something. Um, Harry found a 17 move solution for this. Um, the domino reduction was the same, except he did the obvious F prime um, as the last domino reduction move to build the squares, then switched back to normal, and he found a different uh, domino, uh, a different domino solve uh, with a nice approach. Actually, he first reduced the cube to. Um, uh, state which was solvable only with um, 180 degrees move, so Q2, R2, F2, uh, and then finish the solve. Uh, so it was like a completely different solution after the domino reduction. Uh, so I didn't like miss anything stupid, and I'm still very happy that I got my 18. I'm not uh, sad at all that I missed the 17. Huge congrats to Harry for this. Uh, so this is the end of my. World record mean, my first world record. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Uh, see you next time.